In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an Alexa routine to make your smart home easier to communicate and use. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to open up our Alexa app and we are going to create some routines. So I have some, a bunch of routines here that I've already created that I use every day. And I'm going to show you how to set up some of these and I'm going to show you some of mine that I've set up as well. So if we go over to, um, actually, let's just go back out to the home screen. So when you open up your app you're probably going to land maybe on your home screen or wherever you left off last um, what you want to do is go up to the three little lines at the upper left hand corner tap that and about in the middle there you have routines what you want to do is tap routines all right now once you get into routines it's going to say your routines and featured um, they're going to give you some suggestions here and if you have any routines, your routines are going to show here. Now you can run a routine just by hitting the play button on the right hand side. But to create a new routine, what you need to do is go up to the upper right hand corner and tap the plus. Once you tap the plus, um, you're going to have two options. And basically you're going to have to add um, when this happens and then an action will follow. So we're going to tap the plus on when this happens. And now you have all of these options here. And they actually just did add um, Alexa Guard, so that is excellent because that was definitely missing. The most common one you're probably going to use is voice. So if you tap on voice, what it's going to do is say when you say Alexa and then whatever phrase you enter, then it will do the action that we set up next. Um, you can also do schedules. So you can have something happen at a certain time at sunrise and sunset. If we tap time, um, you can select a time and then you can select whether you want to repeat it every day, weekends, weekdays, or only certain days. So maybe you have something that you want to have happen um, only once in a while or every Tuesday, you can have that set up as well. Um, the smart home, you can tap that. And what it's going to show you is all of the devices that it will allow you to use um, that are in your smart home. And you can see that um, most of these are motion sensors or open and close sensors. It does not allow you to use currently all of the devices that are in your smart home, but hopefully they will fix that soon. Um, you can also use your location. Um, you can use echo buttons. And if we go to Alexa Guard here, it, when it's set to home and away, you can have certain things happen as well. All right, so before we set one up, I'm going to show you a few examples of the ones that I have set up. That way you have an idea of the things that you can do. So what I have here is the first one is Alexa. It's bedtime. If we tap on this, it's going to open up and it's going to say, when I say that phrase, it's going to turn off the light in um, Ari's room and it's going to play babbling brook so he has some noise while he sleeps and it's only going to work on the echo device that's in Ari's room that's a pretty good one um, get ready for bed dims the lights in his room to 30 percent plays kids lullabies on Amazon um, here I have a smart plug hooked up to something that needs to be reset often that's in a closet so I just have Alexa reset Bluetooth and it will automatically turn off the smart plug wait five seconds and turn it back on so that way it can easily reset that without me having to open the closet automatically just does that for me and that will turn on the dining room lights to 50% Turn off the family family room light, run our dinner time scene that we have set up in Smart Things, and say a phrase. Um, we also have make my son happy. We tap that, it sets the volume to three, and it plays his favorite song. And at the bottom you can see that the device you speak to is the one that's going to respond to you. This is the master fan high. So um, what I've done here is I have it when I say Alexa master fan high 
that it's going to turn the master fan on high and then it's going to say this message i have turned the master fan to high if you get cold just let me know and i will turn it to a lower setting and so if we try that out we're just going to change it to office that way it will play um, up here i have turned the master fan to high if you get cold just let me know and i will turn it to a lower setting so that is how you would use the number one getting a simple phrase to say to turn on the master fan to high and also get a custom message back so i think that's enough examples let's go ahead and create our own what we want to do is hit the plus sign at the top and we'll say when this happens and let's just say voice so now we have to add an action so we have all of these options available for actions. If we tap on Alexa says, you have all of these options. So you can see there's just a ton of options here. Let's just choose good morning. And let's hit next there. And we'll choose, um, we're in the office now. So we're gonna choose the office. And we'll click save. So now when we say um, this phrase, um, this is a test, she should respond and say, good morning. So let's give it a shot. Alexa, this is a test. Good morning. The jukebox debuted 130 years ago today at the Palais Royal Saloon in San Francisco. Too bad Arthur Fonzarelli wasn't there to bring it to life. Hey. Now, if you want to edit it, all you need to do is tap on the one you want to edit. And if you wanted to add another action, you can hit the plus sign and you can add any of these actions. Um, so there's just so many to um, choose from. Calendar, you could choose next event and then Alexa will read the next event on your calendar. Obviously, you need to connect your calendar to Alexa for that to work. Um, you can change device settings which is stop audio, change the volume, or change it to do not disturb, or read your email. Um, you would have to link your email account um, to Alexa for that to work as well. You can send a notification. Um, you can also send announcements. So the notification would go to the Alexa app and it would read out on your phone. The announcement would send to all of the devices in your home that are set up for announcements. Um, you can have it play specific music. Um, so you could type in the song artist and playlist and you can select a provider and you can also have it run for a certain duration. So if you only wanted it to run for an hour and then turn off, you can do that Something like that. Um, you can get news, um, you can have it execute skills. Um, you can also have it um, control anything in your smart home. So that's really important because you can put in the phrase that you want to use to control something. So rather than having to follow the exact way that Alexa wants it to be done and um, use extra words and have to say exactly how it's set up in your smart home so it will control exactly what you want. You can have also have sounds in here as well. So say if you had a open and close sensor um, you could come into here and you could choose a sound and it would automatically play that sound. Um, you can get traffic update. Um, this is a delay here. You could add a delay in between two automations and you can also add the weather report. So let's go ahead and add a sound. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click sound. Use animals and we'll do a lion roar. So now you can see that we have the interesting fact here and have the good morning and then we have the lion's roar. And on the side you have um, two little lines and if you tap there you can rearrange these. Now sometimes it will tell you that you know the music has to be on the bottom or top or something like that. So sometimes you can't get them exactly the way you want them to be. Um, but let's test this out now. What this should do is it should do the lion's roar and then give us the good morning and an interesting fact. Good morning. And obviously you can um, tap that again and you can add another action. Add the weather. Click on next. Now we have the weather report. And if we want to delete something. Let's like tell you something new. Let's go ahead and delete that. You just tap on the negative sign on the left hand side and that will delete it. Go back. It's updated the routine. Let's go ahead and try that out. 
60 Myrtle Beach, 61 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today, you can look for lots of clouds, the high of 66 degrees and a low of 51 degrees. Now, if you wanted to delete this routine, you would tap on the routine and you would go up to the top where you have the three little dots, tap that, and then you have the option to play the routine or delete the routine. So if we click on delete, it'll say routine deleted successfully and take you back to your routine screen. Um, so that is pretty much how you create a routine. You can see it's very easy, um, but there's also a ton of options. So that is pretty much all I wanted to do is show you basically that number one, that the routines is here and that if you're not using a routine right now, that you definitely want to experiment with this stuff. It's not hard at all. There are so many things built into the routines now that it gives your Echo devices just so much more power and it gives you an easy way to um, send commands and communicate with your Echo devices um, and really add some functionality very easily. More and more stuff is going to be added um, so definitely start using these, get used to how they work and um, if you have any questions or have any problems let me know in the comment section otherwise I will see you in the next video.